I am Kim Askew. I am a partner at uh, K&L Gates. I came from my line of fabulous women, it, well, starting with my mother, a woman who really sort of saw beyond her time and understood that, you know, my girls can do whatever they want to do. When I said, I want to be a lawyer, my mother said, of course you can be a lawyer. And here's what you got to do to be a lawyer. And you know, she brought me books from the library. I can remember coming into the profession. I was um, one of the first women hired into my litigation section. I think there were two of us at the time. Um, I have been asked to get water, <laughs> Cokes. Uh, I've been thought to be the court reporter or anybody but the lawyer in the room. And it was simply because people were not used to seeing someone who looked like me who was a lawyer. So I really focused on being the best lawyer I could be. And so many of my contemporaries will tell you the same thing. We just did our work. We knew the juries were looking at us strangely. We knew the judges may not be quite sure of what they were gonna do with us, but we just chose to be really good at what we did. And we kept winning. <laughs> and when you win, you know, people sort of look at you a little bit differently. I was, you know, a young kid in the late 60s. Um, and as the world was changing in the civil rights arena, um, it was the lawyers who were in the churches and in the rooms that I was in with my mother talking about what the rights of people were. I didn't see them making tons of money or writing briefs. I saw them helping people. I see many remarkable traits in Kim. Um, the first and what touches my heart the most is her extraordinary commitment to women and um, communities that have been marginalized and really striving both in the courtroom and in the community to be an advocate for those individuals, to give them a voice. Part of my work as an employment lawyer, um, well, is in the Title VII area, but a lot of the volunteer work that I have done has been in the area of Title IX. And Title IX, of course, is the law that brought about gender equity in sports uh, and in schools. Uh, it's the law that says you got to treat the girls just like you treat the boys in terms of sports and the resources that we provide to those. There is a great pay disparity between what women make in our country and what men make. And you know, it matters what happens with women's paychecks because women raise families. They are often the sole breadwinners. What they bring into the household is has consequence. And I think the Dallas Women's Foundation does an excellent job of helping women to realize that part of what we've got to do is to contribute to these great programs if we want to impact the lives of women and children because we need the resources. I think so often girls grow up to be women and we take this trait also into womanhood. Sometimes we're afraid that our ideas won't be the ones heard or that people will reject them. You have a voice. Your voice is as important as the next voice. And speak up. If you're passionate about an issue, be willing to contribute to that issue. And sometimes it's that persistence. It's coming back to it. It's being willing to get back up and fight another day, as we say, that gets you there. I am Kim Askew. I'm a voice of change for women and for girls in Dallas, North Texas, and all around the world. Dallas Women's Foundation. Strong women, better world.